Hello, this is Conquering History Games, and today I'm going to be doing another introductory guide for a country in Kaiserreich. Today it will be the American Union State, and how to play as them, and what their national focus trees could do, and generally their strengths and weaknesses. Now the first thing that has to be done as far as explaining how you become the American Union State, because it's not a country that exists at the start of the game, we have to go back to an event that uh, happens when you play as the United States called a day in September. So you want to first open up as the United States and just play however you want to play until you get to September when it's, this event will pop up. Now you have the a day in September event that goes off in September of 1936. It's where the military decides uh, that they think they need to take over for the good of the country and the election has to be canceled. Now for the purposes of this video, we are going to click the elections must go ahead because I want to demonstrate what happens when Huey Long, who will become the president of the American Union State, is elected president of the United States. Though you could still play as the American Union States if you invite the military in to save the country because the Civil War will still happen. And when the Civil War happens, you can then turn to the American Union State. Uh, for a little more detail on this sort of thing, you can watch my introduction to the USA in Kaiser Reich video. But for now, we're just going to click the elections must go ahead. In early November, you will get the 1936 U.S. presidential election screen because we are going to be looking at how to become the American Union state. You will want to select Huey Long, which will change the popularity of the paternal autocrats, the America First Party here, by 20%. And you'll lose a little bit of political power as well as get a brand new team of ministers. So as you see here, we select Huey Long. Let a moment pass by, let a day pass by, and you'll get the President Long Focus Tree Bypass. So let's take a look at the Focus Tree. As you can see now, Huey Long is the uh, President of the United States, and the American First Party now is 41% popular. You've also bypassed him on the Focus Tree, so now you can begin to take his three national focuses. Now, there are no other focuses that are available to you at this time because they require either the Civil War to be avoided or to be, have been won. Uh, or not, pardon me, not one, but have started. So in, in this, for now, we're going to put Long's agricultural reforms as our national focus that we will be researching. Uh, so there's no American Union state yet. There's still just the United States with Huey Long as its president. So let's see how the country reacts to that. The combined syndicates of America are going to have a problem with this election result, and you'll lose some political power over it. Uh, that's par for the course. After Long's agricultural reforms pass, you will get your first decision of substance. But is it really of substance? Uh, just for testing purposes, we're going to show what happens when you implement the national spirit Long's agricultural reforms. So this will cost you political power, which they both will. It's going to cost you a little bit more, but you'll have less consumer goods factories. So now you can see here you've got the Long's agricultural reforms as a national spirit. We're going to keep an eye on this as we move forward. Uh, next, of course, you go the only thing that's available to you, Long's Tariffs. Now after the Long's Tariffs national focus is complete, you will again get a decision. And again, I'm just going to select uh, Long's Tariffs Reforms because it takes away consumer good factories compared to the no tariff reforms. And again, we've got two more national spirits. Only one national focus left, the coast-to-coast -coast reforms, and let's see what happens when they pass. Eventually, you are going to start getting decisions about how you're going to deal with the trade unions and things of that nature, and they give you the illusion of choice here, but what you actually do doesn't matter because when Huey Long is elected president, as of patch uh, open alpha 0 0.4.3, the civil war is inevitable. So let's just uh, be, let's send the bill to Congress to make the CSA illegal because it'll gain political power. So that seems like the best choice, right? After the coast-to-coast -coast reforms are passed, you still do not have any national focuses that you can take because the American Civil War has not happened, but nor has it been formally avoided. Now, in this game that I've been playing through in uh, April of 1937, the 
combined syndicates of America begin to break off. Now, I haven't shown every decision that led to this point, but it really doesn't matter because, as I said before, as of Alpha 0.4.3, the Civil War is inevitable, so your choices really do not matter. So, obviously, we are not here to play as the combined syndicates of America. We're here to play as Huey Long, right? So, we will stand by the Republic, and as you see, the, the syndicates break off. But that's not the end of the story. Shortly after the CSA breaks off, you get the same uh, message that you would if you had won as uh, John Garner, for example, as the United States, where Long declares the United States a dead nation and creates the American Union States. Now you can click Stand by the Republic, but you will not be playing as Huey Long anymore. He will become Douglas MacArthur and the military junta will take over the country and begin to suppress the syndicates and the uh, American Union state. So uh, before we switch over to playing as the American Union state, again, let's take note of these national focuses that you spent time on. You have the Long's agricultural reforms, Long's tariff reforms, and Long's limited reforms. So if we choose to stand by the country, we become the American Union state. Huey Long is still in control. Those focuses are gone. They do not apply to the American Union state. And if you look at the United States, they don't have them either. So just like with the decisions regarding Jack Reed and the syndicates, do not really worry too much about what national focuses you took when you were President Long, because they ultimately do not matter, at least not in any significant way. Now, the American Union state also gets a fresh start regarding political power. You have zero, which is better than negative. So now, let's begin to look at events that pop up after the American Union state is formed under these circumstances. As you can see, you start to get a whole lot of events happening very quickly. I, I'm just going to go over some of them. Of course, you pick your flag. I went with the Coast Guard flag. I know that's uh, quite popular with people. Uh, but you, this is not a guide about a flag. You can figure it out yourself. Uh, you'll get part of the U.S. Navy that joins you. Of course, you'll get the notification that the Second American Civil War has begun, and you'll get claims on all the rest of the United States, uh, which will allow you to get population from them when the army allows you to declare war on them. Uh, you also get uh, some more areas of the uh, United States that, that break away and uh, join you. So you get a little bit bigger, which is nice. The CSA and the USA are going to both declare war on you as well as on each other so the three-way civil war begins you also get this message about the Appalachians being ripe for the taken again does not matter a whole lot but we're gonna send the expedition in this case you also start spawning troops now so you can see right here you've only got a navy you don't have any uh, military forces yet but after you uh, get the spawn troops you start to uh, wait hold on a second Oh, you also get some industrial resources, but uh, as you can see, you start to get some uh, military units with fantastic names like the White Wizards and the 69th Wife Lovers. And uh, a couple more will spawn, and then the Civil War will begin in earnest. The Pacific States will break off and all the other stuff that you saw in my introduction to the USA and Kaiserreich video. So now for the rest of this video, or most of it anyway, I want to talk about the national focuses. Now, right now, you can't do anything, or I mean, well, you can bypass this. Now, once you've done that, you can begin to select some of these national focuses. Now, they're not all available to you. Before I go into detail, let's look at the ones that are available. You could begin to build up the military, which leads to your land, navy, and air doctrine trees. You can begin to work on your economy, which then splits up into to, uh, into a subdivision of economic uh, research. The new American Republic cannot be researched until the Second American Civil War is over. The Long Doctrine also cannot be researched yet because you cannot work on foreign issues until you've fixed your domestic ones. And I'm just going to dismiss all these alerts up here. Uh, down here 
is also the reconstruction tree that, again, you have to finish the Second American Civil War before you can begin to research. And uh, as the name implies, it uh, it's about rebuilding the United States after the Civil War ends. Uh, you can only build certain things after you've taken them back. So, for example, you can work on rebuilding the Midwest, South, and West after the Second American Civil War is over. However, if the Pacific states still exist, you won't be able to rebuild the Pacific in that same manner. If you do not own New England, you will not be able to uh, take this focus either. And, uh, and this ends with the New American Day, which is where you remove the national spirits, reconstructing America and recovering from the American Civil War, with, which both create penalties, as well as giving you an additional research slot. So let's go back up here and uh, go into more detail about uh, the ones you can select right now. So if you go down the military tree, uh, it's a more or less pretty standard uh Comp military branch of the focus tree. The patriotic American army broadly divides itself into the mobile warfare doctrine here on the left and the superior firepower doctrine on the right. There is no doctrines for mass assault or grand battle plan. So, so this is the way if you really like either of those land doctrines, then the American Union state might be for you. You've also got the additional recruitable population down here and support tech where it doesn't matter which of these doctrines you follow. And they both also end in uh, allowing you to get more um, specialty infantry as well as the National Spirit Army Ranger Corps, which gives a 200% increase in reconnaissance and a 5% increase in leader experience gain. Now, the naval tree is also split. Uh, and on the one hand, you could go for the fleet and being doctrine in your research tree, and this will this is where you build the ships. So that would be uh, this this leftmost tree uh, in in the naval doctrine research. You could also go for the carriers and, and planes, which uh, gives you bonuses uh, for the a different naval doctrine. That one being the uh, base strike doctrine on the right there is no trade interdiction uh, bonuses here in this tree and it ends with you getting bonuses for marine technology moving to the right you have the Air Force branch which again it's just you choose which doctrine you want to go for for the Ramses air support you'd get battlefield support for the air supremacy you get strategic destruction although I kind of feel like air supremacy should be for uh, battlefield support. It just seems to make sense, at least to me. But just keep that in mind. Again, moving to the right. Uh, you have the economics of war, which gives you your standard industry research bonus. But then you can go down populist economics, which uh, gives you things like civilian factories, infrastructure, resource consumption. and But the important thing is at the end, you will get rid of the populist economics national spirit, which you gain over here. And it, uh, it just decreases your consumer good factories and increases your production efficiency gap. And on the other side here, these are the most important parts of the tree, the, the, what happens at the end. You get a faster civilian construction speed and factory output. So those are the things to keep in mind when you decide which one you're going down. These middle three, it does not matter which decision that you make regarding corporate or populist economics. So those are the those are the branches that are available to you while the Civil War is going on. Now once the Civil War ends, you could begin to work on the New American Republic. So this is where you decide who the leadership of the American Union state is going to be. Uh, and you'll have some show trials and eventually you will get an event where Huey Long is attacked by the uh, forces of William Pelly, who uh, he's he's in this universe, he's basically the head of the KKK and uh, an extremely racist man, uh, as you'll see as we look at his um, focus tree. Uh, now, if if you go down, you go down Long's Republic. If you have Long arrest Pelly, this is where the Minutemen uh, protect Huey Long, and then you could begin to get various uh, bonuses. Uh, they're pretty good. For example, loyalty to the Kingfish gives you a 0.3 daily political power gain. 
uh, and uh, and at the end you get the new constitution, which will remove your national spirit, political conflicts, which you don't have yet, but it's it's not a good thing. Then if you go with William Pelly assassinating Huey Long, you create Jim Crow's America. So William Pelly essentially begins to institute an American version of apartheid. So, uh, for example, you get things like democracy for the white man, which is actually called American apartheid, and you lose 30% of your recruitable population factor because uh, black people have no place in Pelly's America. Uh, so this is the more radically racist uh, right-wing way to go as the American Union state. And that's up to you what you want to do. Moving on to foreign policy, you have the Long Doctrine, uh, which again can only be done after the American Civil War has ended. And uh, this, the, all of the American countries have more or less the same foreign doctrines with slight differences. One of the differences here in the Long Doctrine is uh, you only can create your own faction, the League of American States. You cannot join other factions in the world via your national focus tree. Although it is possible to join forces with Middle Europa while they are at war during the Second Weltkrieg uh, with uh, the Third International, you will get an event pop up asking what you want to do. And one of the options is that you could join Middle Europa. But for the most part, you are going to remain isolated if you are playing as the American Union state. Uh, You've got the uh, War Plan Gold. This leads to you fighting the Third International Manifest Destiny is how you reclaim your land. Uh, you might have to get the Southwest back from Mexico, but all the land that breaks off during uh, the Second American Civil War, you have focuses that allow you to get it back. War Plan Purple is essentially the Monroe Doctrine on crack. You just begin to intervene in the various South American and Central American and Caribbean countries. You also can eventually invade Canada to throw the monarchists out of the Western Hemisphere. And once you've done all four of these, you get the Pax Americana, which is not that great considering how much work has to be done, but you get more national unity and political power. So I suppose that is something. So that is uh, basically the whole focus tree. Of course, you have the standard continuous focuses down here at the bottom. So let's talk about the strengths and weaknesses of the American Union State. Now, the strengths of the American Union state are if you can win the Civil War, which you have to, uh, you will have the entire United States industry at your disposal. And though you can only create your own faction, it does keep you from getting entangled in um, international conflicts. So you can take your time uh, just taking over the entirety of the Western Hemisphere, which is uh, relatively easy to do. Uh, the only hiccup that you may encounter is if you go to war with the Commonwealth of Canada you are gonna have to find a way to also destroy the French Empire because they're both in the Entente and both considered major powers within it so you will have to make the leap across the pond to uh, destroy them so do not neglect your Navy but besides that you as the United States do not face any real competition once you have won the uh, Civil War the American Union state is good if you like mobile or superior firepower. They have lots of bonuses to their political power uh, in, uh, in their focus tree. And it's just a, a fun, different way to play as the United States uh, without playing as the United States. And it has a much different flavor. If you'd like to see the American Union state in action, I actually have a playthrough of it on my channel if you uh, want to look that up. So I hope that this was very helpful for you and that uh, you'll have fun playing as Huey Long or William Pelley in the American Union State. Best of luck winning the Civil War. It's, uh, it's not as hard as you think. You just gotta move fast. Uh, like this video if you thought it was informative to you and suggest to me in the comments anything you think I can do to make these guides better or any countries you would like me to do introductory guides for in the future. You all have a nice day.